Hello, this is Jeff Anderson, and this is a quick overview on how to install a virtual computer that you need for the Seed Labs. All that go with your class. Uh, first thing on the Seed project, you should have this link already from your class notes. Go to Lab Setup, and from here you have a link to VirtualBox under the lab environment, so just uh, click that. And this takes you to the virtual uh, boxes web page. Click on downloads. And in here they have the different versions of VirtualBox for your plat or whatever platform you might be using. In this case, I'm using a Windows machine, so this is the version I want. And we're going to save the file, and I will pause while it downloads. Okay, now that it's downloaded, let's install it. Just click on it. And it should be coming up here to do an install one moment. Okay, I'm running multiple screens here, so it came up on the other one. And click Next. And to make this install simple, we're just going to take the defaults. Uh, well, except for this one, I don't want a quick launch. Do whatever you wish. I don't like them. And go to the network interface and do the install. And it's going to say yes. I'll pause for a moment. It shouldn't be long. Yeah, that wasn't long at all. At this point, um, we're going to say go ahead and start it and finish. And there it is. Lovely. That's the background so it's easier to identify. Um, the next thing we need to do is download one of the virtual machine images from the Seed Project. So let's open up that. And we're going to go back to Seed. And we want uh, lab setup. And why don't we take the latest version from server one, and we will download that, save the file, and I'll pause while that downloads. While that's downloading, I may as well show you a couple other versions of Linux you will find very useful for using in virtual machines. Uh, first one is Kali. Uh, this version of Linux is all about penetration testing. Um, it comes with a lot, a lot of tools that uh, you can use right out of the box. It's awesome. The next one, if you're concerned about your security on the internet, Tails is an, uh, is an excellent version of Linux that will hide your privacy. If you're concerned about your privacy on the internet, you can use Tails and uh, you'll be pretty good to go. Uh, next one, if you just want a general surfing virtual machine so you don't infect your virtual machine uh, with stuff out there on the web, uh, so you don't infect your host computer, uh, Mint is a very good version of Linux. It's got a lot of the uh, video drivers and all that you need built right in. It's fast. It's friendly. I like it. A lot of people like Ubuntu. It's good. So, uh, back to waiting for the download to complete. Okay, now that we have VirtualBox installed and we have the seed downloaded for VirtualBox or VMware, you can use it with either one. Why don't we go ahead and create a virtual machine? To do that, we'll click on New. Come on. And we'll give it a name of uh, something original like seed. And this is a Linux distribution, more specifically Ubuntu 32-bit. Next, uh, 5.12 is fine. We downloaded it, so let's select it. I have copied it. I downloaded it, then I it comes down as a zip file, and I unzipped it to this folder, seed Ubuntu. So let's just select the vmdk file right there, the one for the distro.
and we go create. Uh, before we go ahead and start it, let's go over some of the settings because some of these you might want to change later for other labs. Um, main ones you might want to change are networking. Right now it's set as NAT. Uh, later on for other um, labs you might want to change this to bridge to make them work easier. Okay. Also a handy thing is shared folders. You might want to add a shared folder. Uh, this would be a folder on your host computer, in my case my Windows machine, that is shared with the virtual machine. That makes it very easy to copy files back and forth between the two machines. Otherwise you're using a USB drive to go back and forth. For now we'll just say OK and we'll start our virtual machine. I might pause. This might take a second to start up. Okay, here you can see that it's starting. There's a couple little informational things going on there at the top of the screen. We'll let it row. There it comes. And this virtual machine is already configured with most things you'll need for the lab. There's just a few extra things you'll need to add on later. Okay, and our password for the seed is DEES, or seed backwards. Enter that. And that gets you user admin level. It does not get you root. Uh, root login is disabled, or not disabled, but it's kind of blocked, so it's a lot harder to do. So if you need to run anything as root, just uh, at the command line type sudo, and uh, you should be fine. Okay, and I prefer running this in a full screen mode, so let's just do that. Let's go view, switch to full screen, yeah, go ahead and switch. And you notice it all adjusts very nicely. And you can see you have Wireshark already pre-installed along with a, a bunch of other things you'll need. Uh, so that's that's the basics of uh, installing VirtualBox and loading the seed virtual machine onto it. There's uh, other, obviously other ways to do this, um, but this is a quick overview on how to get it working. Have a good day.